What's up guys, Michael back here with another app review, except this time we're on the computer, uh, specifically Mac OS if you can't already tell. Taking a look at an issue we have all pretty much had, and that is disk space. Um, so on my Mac Pro here, I have a very small 256 gig SSD, and so it can be very hard sometimes managing that space. Now on Mac, if you go up to the very top left hand corner to the Apple logo and click on about this Mac, it brings up a nice little uh, infograph about your computer. And if I click on storage, it'll give me a little breakdown on everything that's in the computer and my other volumes. So Macintosh HD is always going to be your main hard drive unless you choose otherwise. Um, and you notice here that it gives me a nice general breakdown, photos, apps, movies, audio. But that is mostly looking at the main Mac uh, applications. So photos are going to pull from the Photos app. Um, audio and movies are pulling from iTunes. Apps obviously are coming from the application folder. Um, but most of the time, you have things on your desktop and documents kind of scattered all over the place. And that's where this other comes into play. And you can't really see much more than that. So it's not very helpful if you're trying to clean up your computer very easily. So that's where a app called Daisy Disk comes into play. Now Daisy Disk is available in the Mac App Store. Um, it is 10 bucks as you can see here, but after this video if you want to try it out, um, head over to their website daisydiskapp.com and you can buy it straight there or you can even do a free trial. And the free trial um, unless they've changed it, does not expire. You just basically have to wait like 30 seconds in the beginning, uh, and it may not give you all the uh, some of the more advanced fancy features, but uh, for the most part, it will probably do you just fine. So you can download the free trial if you like it. It is definitely, definitely worth the 10 bucks um, to buy it as well. I got a license through work. Um, and so I have the full version that you'll see here in a couple of minutes, but definitely head over. They just did a huge update and redid this site, um, a couple weeks ago. Absolute actually. So, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Link will be in the description below. So let's hop into Daisy disk. So I'll launch spotlight here. Daisy disk. So this is it. When you first start it up, it's just a little box which has all your volumes. You may not even have um, all of these, obviously. Uh, these are all my external hard drives and servers, and uh, boot camp will be my Windows partition. So if you just have a basic computer um, with no nothing plugged into it, Macintosh HD will be the only thing that shows up. And you'll notice here that my line is pretty orange, almost red. Um because I only have 18.4 gigs left out of my, you know, 100 and, or 256, but 161 gigs, basically 180 or so um, for this partition. All I have to do here is simply hit scan. If you have the older version of Daisy Disk, you'll know how fast that was. It used to take probably a good three ish minutes to scan this hard drive, which isn't too bad, but uh, they definitely made it like 10 times faster in this previous update but anyway once you get it open um, very very nice visuals um, now it may look a little kind of sci-fi super techy thing if you're not used to seeing a view like this but it's actually very very simple and you can use it however you want um, you can specifically use the kind of pie chart here to the left or just use the list view to the right or a combination of the both. They kind of go hand in hand. Um, me personally, I end up just using the list view to the right, but do whatever suits you best. You notice here that if I click the biggest chunk here in the middle, then it'll actually open that up to the right here and this all changes. And that's kind of the point of this whole app. Whoops, go back to the view. Um, you can the whole purpose of it is to be able to very quickly and efficiently find what's taking up the most space on your computer and easily remove it. There is a little trash can down here in the bottom left which will actually keep count of how many gigs you will delete and how much space you will uh, clear up very quickly. Now 
if I go into something like users, I can see it's 85 roughly gigs, almost 86 gigs. If I click on it, pie chart changes, so is this to the right. Um, if I keep clicking, it goes into that folder. And I can see here the biggest folder in that is my library, 32.8 gigs. I can keep diving in, keep diving. You basically can keep going. Now, one small little fact, if you see um, that your application support is taking up the most space and you see a folder called mobile sync that actually is where if you do iTunes backups for your iPhones or iPads or whatever it may be that's actually where it saves and those can take up a ton of space I don't use this computer for those backups I use my laptop for that but if you do see that it's probably all your backups so just keep in mind use iCloud be a lot better um, but yeah so I like how it kind of puts all the smaller objects together because you know 170 megabytes sure if you had a ton of those it could add up but I don't really care about kilobytes and kilobytes I mean just kind of useless to make this crazy list with all that stuff on it so I like how they normally group it together and you'll see here up at the top I've been clicking kind of keeps your progress of where you're at so you can quickly go back to where you started or just one step back now you notice something here when I go back to the main Macintosh HD drive that there's this hidden space and it's taking up a good chunk of uh, the hard drive, 16 gigs. And if I click on it, nothing happens. This is actually the folders that only an administrator can see so a normal user would not have general access to so Daisy Disk doesn't let you. Now if I go back to disks and folders and I click this little arrow here right next to view or if you're starting up the app it'd be right next to where it says scan you can choose this option quick scan as quick rescan as administrator so now that we're scanned into the administrator view and again if you uh, are doing it for the first time you'll have to type in your administrator password you'll notice that hidden um, objects or hidden files is now gone and you'll see that the library, the system, and the private seem to have grown. They used to be like 11 gigs, 5 gigs, something like that. Uh, now it's significantly more. And so that will allow you to dive into these folders properly to see what's taking up all the space. And again, if you want to ever uh, change it back to normal, go back to the little drop-down menu. And you can say, rescan as normal user. It will scan very quickly and you'll see the hidden space is back. Now, one thing that I actually just noticed, I don't know if it's a bug or anything like that, but when I go to quick scan and then quick rescan as administrator, still shows that hidden space. What I did to fix that was I hit the drop down menu, forget scan results, kind of takes it back to the first normal view, and now do scan as administrator. And now it's gone. So the little jump cut you saw about 30 seconds ago, yeah, that was me just figuring it out. Go me. But that's it. So once you add a bunch of things into this little um, collector here, um, you can simply hit delete. It is the same thing as securely deleting the trash bin. So once it's out from, uh, once you hit delete, it will give you like 10 seconds warning. Um, and it is permanently deleted. It does not go to your trash can, so you don't have to do an extra step, but also remember, it is permanently deleted, so it is completely gone from your computer. Um, so, all in all, I love Daisy Disk. It's a fantastic app. If you just use the free version, awesome, um, but if you use it as much as I do, uh, it's well worth the 10 bucks in the long run, especially for multiple volumes. Um, being able to scan as an administrator, you'll notice down here at the bottom left, you can also scan a specific folder. Um, it's really, really cool. It has a ton more features than what I showed you today. I just kind of wanted to briefly go over the app um, as a little brief tour. Um, if you want to see more on this app or maybe a shorter kind of uh, just teaser to it, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. Um, and I'll see you next week for another app review.
Have a fantastic rest of your day.